Welcome to this IQ4NC configuration video. In this video we're going to be covering how to use the 4NC to bring the trend internet work uh, to the MSTP connection. So go into set. So as you can see here I've already configured a set project so what we need to do is go into tools, trend IP tool, hit connect and here you'll see the devices I've got available on Ethernet. So we have our 4NC and notice the slightly different logo and the IQ3. So first of all, we just want to double check that the IP address will be compatible. As you can see, this A here represents automatic addressing. So we know this is going to work. Okay, so go through onto the web page. And so once we're in the IQ 4NC web page, what we need to do is go into modules then go into networks and as you can see R&D have developed these rather good images here to represent what you're going to be configuring and if you notice certain sections grey out according to what you're configuring which is quite good because it means that there's less chance of any potential errors in configuration so what we're interested in is we want to do this so as you can see no Ethernet backbone but we have got the MSTP devices coming onto the internet work so we're quite happy with this. So if we hit the tick up top here, it confirms right value success. Now, because we haven't got an Ethernet backbone, then what we're going to need to do is actually establish our connection via the micro USB connection, because we're not going to be able to map this in set. So I'm not going to create a chewer in IP tool. So if we close IP tool, now what I have done is connected a USB connection. OK, so if you hit start, Go to control panel, then into device manager, and under device manager we're looking at the ports. So if we expand out the ports we can see the trend controls, IQ4 USB, and it's already telling us it's on COM7, so there's really only one other thing we need to check, which is the board rate, so how many bits per second we're looking for. So if we go into ports, and as you can see 9K6, so 9600 bits per second so this is a relatively slow connection but it's going to work for our purposes so if we hit OK on that so COM7 9K6 so if we close this and close again so what we want to do is establish a connection based on that so if we hit the edit site details button this house icon this time what we're going to do is go into edit connection details so launch the Tua editor and as we can see here I've already configured this, but this is how we'd configure the board rate. So we've got a drop down list here, and we've also got the ability to free type in here the COM port number. So if we hit OK on here, just confirm our chew is correct. So it's looking at COM port 7, board rate 9K6. So hit OK, and then right click on our site and hit refresh. And again, on the local LAN, as you can see, here's our foreign C with our ECOs attached, this is our MSTP network and then refresh on the internet network and we have three LANs so let's refresh those in so here's our two series LANs and this connection is not designed for Ethernet backbone so you will not find any Ethernet device on here we'll recover something similar to this now a couple of things to be aware of so as you have a look here, our foreign C is connected and as you can see USB CNC 125. Now that is common to the Eco device, which is also have this micro USB connection. That what you get is a supervisor address of 125. Now you just got to be aware um, that there is a potential here that you can cause clashing addresses. So just be very careful that when you're setting up this connection, that you're the only one doing this particular connection at time, or agree with your colleagues. Okay. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you enjoy using the NC. Thank you.